I'm gonna clap in front of you. Yeah. Oh. Did I mention you were the old guy here? Yeah, I, I heard that part. It cut. <laughs> Five ways. Let's roll. For years I've said I've got it within me to fight the best in the world. And I consider the six of us to be the best six in the world. Jeder ist stark, jeder hat Chancen, das, diese Turnier zu gewinnen. Das ist das Größte, was mir passieren konnte. Darüber hinaus ist bei mir noch nichts passiert. I think that the veterans in the tournament really think that they're going to be the last one standing. And I'm talking about Arthur Abraham, Carl Frotch, and Mikael Kessler. I feel I've got the edge in this tournament. It's not a massive edge, but it's an edge, an edge that I'm confident going into. And I want to take the final trophy. They've been telling me about this kid named Ward. He's fast, he's strong, and they say he's the favorite. Who do you see fighting you in the final? Any of those other guys. Frotch, <laughs> Kessler, I mean, it doesn't matter. As long as my pick wins, I'm good. <laughs> We're gonna have to do battle with these guys for the next two years. I'm not just happy to be in this Super Six tournament. I'm coming to win. Willst du ein schönes Foto haben von mir? <lacht> Abraham gegen Ward aus Los Angeles. Live. Im ersten. Gut. Tommy? Ja. Von der ganzen Gruppe, alle rauf. Komm. Kommt her. Warte, jetzt mach ich so. Hochformat. So. Ich kann nicht mehr abwarten. Umso schneller diese Zeit kommt, umso besser für mich. For my career is very important. This fight is very urgent for me. Ja, er war ein bisschen sauer auf mich, weil ich nicht gut geboxt habe. Weil ich gar nicht geboxt habe. Aber das ist schon für mich vergangen. Ja? Mach nachher, lies nachher, also. Komm, mach die Bar. Ich habe gelernt, dass ich mit der Passivität nicht nach vorne komme. Zeit! Weiß ich nicht. Aber das, ist, das war mein Stil. Aber ich muss. Wenn ich in Amerika gewinnen will, muss ich sehr aggressiv sein. I never set out to be a star in this sport. I never set out to to be the man. I just like to win. And I hear the word, you know, star being thrown around, and if that's what I become, that's fine. If not, I'm fine with that too. As long as we get the W and keep progressing. Arthur and Mikkel Kessler were put into this tournament to be made stars in America, but it just didn't work out that way. Arthur, I know you understand. They don't want you to hear. Arthur, your promoters lost confidence in you. What did you say? We don't have so much time. We don't have so much time. He says, we don't have so much time. Okay, I just want you to know they do not have confidence in you. He says, we have no confidence in you. I know you want to be here. I know you want to be here. Now you're not going to be here. You got an angry seething fire coming at you. You destroy. It's okay, he don't hit hard. He can't punch, don't worry about it. 
How's that? He can't, he can't punch. You don't know. He can't punch. Don't worry about it. He don't hit hard. You're going to barely feel it. Wir respektieren alle Menschen auf dieser Welt. Ich wiederhole, alle Menschen auf dieser Welt. Aber man muss immer wissen, wo die Grenzen sind. Das heißt, wenn wir jemanden respektieren, das heißt nicht, dass... Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the official weigh-in for the semifinals of the Super Six World Boxing Classic. Can you afford to get way behind like you did against Durrell? In America, can I not doing this? Not in America. I, no, I have no time. I must win every round. I not win every round is not so good. We got to fight in 24 hours. I want to be able to hear Gus screaming ringside when I fight. I wanna, <laughs> when I can hear Gus, then I know I'm doing something right. I found you! I found you! I found you! Next time we see you, you're going to be laying down. Traveling with three small kids can be exhausting. They're just excited to be here. They're, you know, all their friends are excited for them, and you know they can't wait to see, you know, Dad come home with another victory against Abraham. Who's Dad? She's not a huge fan of boxing right now. She's like, no more boxing. Daddy's working too hard. <laughs> when Daddy come home? Everybody's tired. I'm tired. We're gonna go get you in your room right now. When you see a pride of lions, an hour before they hunt. Well, what are they doing? I don't think they give up energy, anything like that. But I think they're conservative. Ready, B? They lay around sleeping. And then they get up and stretch. And they go kill something. Are you ready for the long arms? The long arms? Yes, of course. I am ready for everything, my friend. This is a room with the goggles. Two inches. You ain't gonna let these in close? Is that two inches? No, you want me to take it off? That's more than two inches. Okay, excuse me. Can you you gotta use two inch goggles. You use two inches. This is the first time after 200 World Title Fighters that I have this yeah. problem. It's okay. okay. First step. Sorry. What kind of boy is once. We're good, right? Okay. You're happy? Good luck. Okay? Thank you, buddy. So thing. Tight. Oh. Music. For you is good music, not yeah. for me. Yeah. 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 Hey, hey man, just, just once. You're not talking. Shh. It's not your home. I stay. You still are quiet still. I stay right here. Don't have conversation with him. Just watch the hand wrap, please. Okay? <laughs> After the fight, you can go dancing. Well, fans, the time has come for the Super Six World Boxing Classic Semi Finals. And now, please welcome to the ring, King Arthur Abraham. Let's go. In his last Super Six fight, Abraham turned in the worst performance of his career. And he's vowed that you'll see a totally different King Arthur tonight in this fight. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the tournament number one seed, Andre S.O. G. Ward. The WBA champion, Andre Ward. He is the Super Six leader, not lost since he was 12 years old. Oh, Round one. Now there's something you don't see every day. Arthur Abraham moving forward in the first seconds of a fight. Abraham 
trying to make a little brawl out of it. backing up. That may have hurt him. And you like the way Arthur Abraham is coming out fighting, especially after that disappointing performance against Carl Cross. How do you feel? Are you with me? Everything's with me? Huh? Trying to get my defense off the line, but also get my offense off. It's your night, man. It's coming. I see it coming, okay? Let's Take his win. Break. Andre Ward has always responded to adversity. Right now, he's facing a little adversity. I'll tell you what, I think the very best Arthur Abraham has showed up tonight to put himself back in contention for the trophy. He's starting to get tired. Abraham going back into his shell. Come on, go! Ward finding his rhythm, letting his hands go. Get back on the back. That's right. That's right. Do it again. There you go. Don't let him rest. I thought that's an underfilling overtime match. Arthur Abraham's going to have to do something, or this fight is going to completely get away from him. Abraham breathing out of his mouth. He's tired. We got him where we want to get him. He's giving up a lot of energy, getting frustrated. He can't handle the pace. You feeling good for me? Getting that second win? Arthur Abraham, the frustration setting in. Oh, boy, I can feel the air from that one. Let him go wild and you make him paint. Yes, sir, Mr. Andre. Keep whooping on Woo! He's wearing him down right now. I did it! I did it! You have to sit down, guys. Man, don't say that! I can't understand why Arthur Abraham can't pull the trigger. It's because he's in there with a guy that has every tool of the game. He is the consummate boxer puncher, and that's what he's showing us tonight. Round. Secure the victory smart. Okay? Good for one wild shot. This is your time. You know, he's running out of time. That took oh, by oh. Abraham. Another left hook by Abraham. Ward traded left hooks with him. That's a mistake. Not some swelling around the right eye of Ward. Boy, as frustrating as this has been tonight for Arthur Abraham, he still has the guts and the heart to try to turn this fight around. And that's it. The winner and still the WBA Super Middleweight Champion of the World, Andre Ward. Yes. Andre Ward wins a unanimous decision. He now advances to the final. Andre Ward, the man. That's right. That's right, baby. Arthur, you're, you're a great champion. It's all in the business. I respect you. I really, you're a great champion. Ich war überrascht, du, die ersten drei, vier Runden, das wunderbar. Ja, du, du hast den so, der, der, war, der hatte so einen Schiss, der hatte immer, und, ja, und dann hast du auf einmal, hast du den Wie eine Scheiße, diese Doppeldeckung, ne, ja, natürlich, da stehst du nur in Doppeldeckung. Ja. Das, das geht wie die Freunde. Das ist ein Wir haben einen großen Champ. Ah, man, let me do that, man. Come on, come on, bro. Congratulations, man. Thanks, bro. Appreciate that. Was an, that was an amazing, amazing job. Man, you know. I think I look good, bro. Huh? I didn't think I look good. What? <laughs> I gotta watch the tape, man. What's up, man? When he came out and hit me with that first punch, I said, okay, we're, we're in a fight here. And I thought, man, if, if you don't step it up, you're going home. 
those kind of thoughts go through your head. I mean, if you don't, you don't step it up, you could lose your title. And that, you know, that'll give you a sense of urgency immediately. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. All right, thank you. We'll see where it goes now with Arthur, whether he stays at super middle or whether, he, whether he's able to go back down. I'll we'll have to take it from there. We saw a lot of positives tonight. He just need, he needed to keep the game plan. He didn't manage to do it. Super 6 tournament is a big tournament. Natürlich tut mir sehr leid, dass ich ausgestiegen bin. Hello, cool, Berlin. Okay. Thank you, madam. Have a nice day. Bye bye. Do you still like boxing? Yeah, naturally, yes, of course. Zwei Männer im Ring alleine stehen und seine eigene Kräfte messen. Ich ärgere mich nicht. Das ist boxing. For me, it's uh, no problem. No, I'm just making sure that we have enough because we're going to have to check two bags per person. So we just. Man, I've been up all night. I've been up. My wife went to sleep on me. Kids went to sleep. <laughs> I just, you know, I'm, man, I, it, that adrenaline is something. Hey, Come back Michael? up? Yeah. Same flight? Yeah, 12 o'clock huh? on the victory flight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I can't help but think about the finals right now because, I mean, we're there. We're one fight away, you know, from realizing a dream and from getting the WBC belt, become the best middleweight in the world. So it's exciting as we're, as we're getting closer. We're out of here. <laughs> For the, you know, the, the greater good of the tournament, it should probably be me and Frotch. Because, I mean, we started from day one and, you know, we both endured it, you know. We'll see. We'll see. I'd like to say uh, congratulations, Carl, on your winning the 168-pound world title. Good job. But there's going to be no finals. Glenn Johnson's trainer is delusional. I'm going to tell you, he's delusional if he thinks Glenn's going to win. He's not only going to not win the fight, he's not going to win a round. Just write that down and mark that down. Thank you very much. There's the chair, baby. <laughs> There's the chair. Man, I hear you're looking great. Oh, I hear the weight's I'm been awesome. easy. Awesome. I feel real good. Trust me when I tell you. Believe in God, trust Glenn Johnson. Yeah. <laughs> A confident Carl Froch quote, he's not even going to win a round, write that. Did I say that? Yeah. You're sitting there, you're like this. He's not, I've got a lot of respect for Glenn Johnson, it's going to be a great fight. But I'll tell you what, right, he ain't going to win a round. In fact, he ain't going to win a second round. In fact, this is his last fight ever. Come on, man. <laughs> Stay tuned for another thriller where I'll face Glenn Johnson for a place in the Super 6 final on Sky Sports. Great, thanks, Carl. You're Appreciate better than Rocky Balboa. Mate, guys, you were great. <laughs> you get to a stage of any competition when you can see the finish line, and I think Carl is just itching to explode right now, and he's just desperate to get in that ring. You're as sharp as I've ever seen you. Yeah. Razor sharp. This is the semi final of the Super 6. I need to win this fight. I've said it before and I'll say it again, metaphorically speaking, if I could cut my opponent's throat during that fight, I would do, because you know, that's how much it means to me. Cobra! 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 Hello! You okay? Hello, Hello darling. We got lost, as usual, but it was okay. We're here now. What <laughs> Yo! Fancy seeing you here? Yeah. Come on, how are you? Just add it. Just add it. I ate fish. Got fish breath, apparently. A few weeks before the fight, Carl goes off to wherever he's going, and then I'll go out there, and I hate every minute of it. When that bell rings at the end, I kind of like, <sighs> then I feel better. Ladies and gentlemen, he's the man who the 
fans want to see Carl Frotch and Andre Ward. I think it'll be Floyd Mayweather, Ricky Hatton all over again. Hopefully with the same outcome. <laughs> Say the final. Say the final. I didn't know. I good, man. Feeling good? Yeah, good. Yeah, what they say, he's the best that ever come out of the UK. If there's justice in sport and in boxing, which I know there isn't a lot of the time, then it'll be a Frotch Ward final, and it'll be a huge, huge fight. Well, you all gonna have to talk that over with Glenn Johnson. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> if he comes to 12 rounds, he's gonna get hit in the face hard for 12 rounds. He's gonna get hurt, he's gonna get damaged, because he's gonna take a lot of shots. I don't believe he have the reflex to keep up with me. I don't believe he have the defense to keep up with me. And I don't believe he have the intelligence of boxing. I'm bursting out of my clothes to get started. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not nervous. Nervous is waste of energy. The nervous is supposed to stop you from doing something that I guess be scary. And if you're still going to do it, regardless of what the nervousness is about. Where are the wheels? Where's the whip? Uh, the vehicle? That's a good question. You better miss on this one. Yeah, well, that's not good. Get out of here. I want you to get a taxi. Let's go, let's go. Either way. No, OK, which way to the boardwalk? Thank you. I usually have a pre-fight scotch, it's sort of my habit, but there is no scotch, so I am having a pre-fight beer. People saying that Glenn doesn't have much of a chance, they just don't know Glenn Johnson. I mean, Glenn is the ultimate underdog, and he has been his whole career. And I'm hoping that Carl's taking him a little bit lightly, because if he goes in with that mindset, it's going to be a very long night for Carl. Just trying to take your title off you this whole man. Mm -hmm. Just be too sharp for him, too good for him, from the bow. <laughs> What's up? Yeah, good, man. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. You can do all the training, and on the night, things can sometimes unfold in a different way. Let's click into gear now. Thanks, Joe. Let's go then. Come on, let's click into gear. Come on. Yeah, he gets nervous. Yeah. Yeah. Only when he's here, though. Only when he's here. Yeah. Nowhere else. Yeah. Come on, bro. Come on. Get around the chop. Come on. Let's go. 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 let us I'm the underdog type guy. I mean, you know, I'm the blue collar guy. Go out in the ring with a workman like attitude. Johnson knows it's his last big chance. There's big stakes on the table, everything's on the line. But you never take anything for granted in boxing. Let's go, man! On point from the beginning, all right? Round one. Johnson invading his space. Stop him coming in, Carl. Right now, it looks like Carl Frotch is going to have to adjust his game plan if he wants to win this fight tonight. Be busy now, Carl. Let's get busy. That's a grand round, man. Yeah. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. You warmed up, man? No. You're not at home. Don't fuck about it. I mean it, Carl. Get on it now. Come on, sir. Oh, big right hand by Frotch. Carl Frotch comes out strong to start the round. Glenn, pick it up. Pick it up, man. Pick it up. Right now, Carl is comfortable right in front of Glenn Johnson, and he's making him pay. Glenn, you got to go. Glenn, you got to go. Carl Frotch, another right hand. And again. And again. England, you got a guy here. Come on. That's a good round. That's a good round. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now you box in. Put your legs out. Right now, he's got you at his pace, his distance. Yeah. All you got to do is beat Glenn Johnson and rip him. This is the type of fight that I knew Glenn Johnson could have. We're going to see, can he keep this pace up? Don't let him pop anything! Oh. Oh. The old man still has something in the tank. You got this, Carl. You got it. Rock's coming back. Don't let him get the bat on you right there. Beautiful right hand by Johnson, right on the button. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Rock puts it out of it, and he steps up. This is what boxing's all about. And that's the end of the round. Woo. And they got busy, folks, and the fans in Atlantic City, very appreciative. You won every round! Look at me, don't look at the fucking crowd. I need a good round out here. Don't get sloppy, don't load up. 
That's the urgency we need. Tuck that chin and go to war. Glenn Johnson getting off the stool slowly. I feel like the tie right now is going to change. Carl Frock is not running, and that's how you beat Glenn Johnson. Holly's too slow. He's getting tired. Hey, Glenn, stop it. Work, work, work. Carl Frotch has thrown the combinations tonight, and Glenn Johnson has it. Don't give him a shot. Be busy. Be busy, Carl. Carl Frotch is winning this battle. I feel that Glenn Johnson needs a knockout if he's going to take away this title from Frotch. Damn it. All right, you're blowing it. Here's the deal. If you don't put this guy to sleep or the referee stops it, you lose. Our final round. The winner to advance to take on Andre Ward. Glenn Johnson, more urgent now. Knock him out, Glenn. Glenn, you gotta knock him out. 42-year-old Glenn Johnson still in there warring with this young man. <laughs> the Cobra on top of his game. This is how we want to see a champion fight. Time! The winner advancing to the tournament finals, the Cobra. The Cobra does it again on foreign soil. Proud of you, baby. He gave it everything he had. How'd it go, baby? Nothing to be ashamed of. Other guys are real good fighter, man. Yes. Other guys are really, we're what credit's due, and that guy's underrated, man. That guy's a good fighter. Hey. He, he should be proud. I mean, that was a hell of a fight. I'm extremely disappointed. I mean, you know, I believe that I should have came out of there a winner. But, you know, I don't make excuses. It's not going to change yesterday. It is what it is. 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 For me, it's all about tomorrow. Get up. We've got to get up. We've got literally we've got 55 minutes. We've got to get packed. We've got to get everything ready. Oh, it's brilliant. It's every fight, the voice box goes. I'm his big bro. I'm like his biggest fan. I was growing up as brothers. We had some good scraps, but I always knew Carl was just too tough. He's too strong. The best man won. Definitely. Johnson was really, really tough. I get a bit nervous, a bit worried. But it's all good now. <laughs> Phew. Did <laughs> you order? I think I ordered a cheesecake. Steak sandwich and chips. I don't think you ordered anything, did you? You sure no. I sure didn't order any food at all? No. no. You didn't want to, eh? I didn't. No, I'm hungry. Oh, you did, babe, you did. Oh, I thought I did. Rice pudding. That was it, rice pudding. See, I know I won't go crazy. <laughs> Took a couple of right hands last night, but... Congrats, bro. A few years ago, I'd have made sure that I got the grandstand finish. But the new me and the, the me that listens to Rob a lot more than what I used to realises that, you know, a win sometimes good enough to be in the Super 6 final just solidifies and confirms everything I've said from the start. I'm going to win it by any means necessary. I never set out to be a star in this sport. I never set out to, to be the man. I just like to win. Andre Ward! Super 6 tournament, you know, it's my life. and It means everything to me. Come on, Cole! I feel like the same hungry kid who got in this tournament two years ago. I want to finish what I started. To be in the Super 6 final just solidifies and confirms everything I've said from the start. <laughs> it's the stuff dreams are made of. The Cobra does it again. Andre Ward advances to the fight. I'm in this game to fight. And I'm confident I can beat Ward. Take all the talk, and I bottle it up, put the top on it, come fight night, bam, comes out. I want to hear and new WBC, WBA, and Super 6 champion, Andre Ward. I'm going to win it by any means necessary.
been up for I don't know how many hours. This is the first of three stops to announce the big fight in Atlantic City, New Jersey, Boardwalk Hall. The big building. This is two years of ups and downs to get to this point to get to the finals. And now everything is on the line. So, you know, the, these different cities and these different different tours that we're doing, it's fitting for what for what we're getting ready to do. Did you eat on the plane? No. Why well, not? first off, I mean, I, I, I don't really like to eat in front of 40 people that I don't know. And then I don't like to eat where my fork has to uh, travel up to my mouth from uh, a uh, TV tray. That's Hollywood Dan, folks. <laughs> Hollywood Dan comes in. All these nice cars in the parking lot. <laughs> Bentley, Bentley. Would I be able to take that and put it up in front of it? Yeah, you can sit it. Make sure Carl doesn't touch it. Pull the stage. Well, you're going down that way. Well, for it's hard. What, yeah. hard on the actual practice? Yeah. Being promoted by Eddie Hearn and Matchroom Sport, my profile's got a lot better. I'm now on Sky Television, which is great because you know the British boxing fans get to get to see me. A great fighter needs to be showcased into a huge audience. You know, over the last probably three or four months, Carl's profile's gone through the roof. Carl is the biggest fighter on Sky Sports. He's the biggest fighter in Britain. You know damn well this press came out to see you, which I like need to make you that global star. Just the next step, baby. Save that. I came into this tournament, nobody gave me a shot to even get close to the finals, much less win. And to be honest with you, regardless of what the rankings say, I still have my back against the wall with much to prove. He's got his plans, and I've got my plans. The fact of the matter is the two best fighters that entered the tournament are now meeting in the final. So it couldn't be any bigger. I'm very secure and confident in the business that needs to be handled. Destin, I don't know, but do I feel like I'm here for a reason? Absolutely. And I don't believe that I've come this far for no reason. New York City, here we come. Things work out really well for you. Yeah. I feel very proud of you. And you're better looking in real life than you are in the newspaper. Come on up. Yes! Not, not for the camera. <laughs> if there was no camera, that's, I actually would have done it. That's all it was for, the camera. There's no fun without the camera. Turn around from here to the UK. Something I'll probably never, ever do again in life, but <laughs> we, we did it. We did it. This is going to get heated. I'm not in the mood. What? Why do you think I need to be? Yeah, because this is the kind of thing that's watched again and again and again. And if you don't perform, you're going to regret it. You do? Yeah. I thought Sob was on his way up here, then. Huh? SOB. Andre SOB Sob. Ward. I call people a lot worse and still buy them a drink. You know, I guess Frost thinks that you need to tell yourself certain things to get yourself in the right frame of mind. And if it works for you, go for it. I don't feel like I have to do that. I'm an Olympic gold medalist, and I'm 23 and old. We're doing something right. We're doing something right. Do you feel you'd be a, a great, hypothetically speaking, if you was to put that in your trophy cabinet? I think it'd be a good win. The way my father raised me, we, we, don't, we don't pat ourselves on the back, and we don't call ourselves great. We let other people do that. OK, I can knock you out. That's good for With TV. either hand. Forget the TV, ignore the television. I love it. That's what big time boxing is all about. I love it. Don't fall in love with it too much. I thought Andre was, was really on top for the first half, and then Cole got him really rattled, you know, towards the end. So Dan's calming down, which is nice. You know, he seems to be just starting to relax a little bit. I know he's getting a little bit flustered as well, but that's OK. You know, being my first rodeo, that's, uh, <laughs> you, you live and learn. Showtime once again. Right. Saturday, it's the main event. It's the finals. You realize you got no chance. You realize you got no chance. You're not taking the VC. It's going nowhere. See you later. I'll see you on Auntie Sita. Remember, remember, there's two different types of power. Right? 
The kind that hurts you is the kind that stays with you. Is Ward coming to fight? I need to know the answer to that question. Is he coming to fight? I didn't think you'd answer that one. I can tell you, you're going to get hit a lot. And you're going to miss a lot. And I can tell you... That's not going to happen. And I can tell you that he's going to hurt you. It's honestly, it's honestly not going to happen. No, I wasn't trying to get into his head. I just enjoy talking to him, you know. I don't have any provocative motives. Um, just, just being me. I'm very pleased that you felt yeah. the need to come and try and put this in his head. Yeah. Because it shows us a lot of signs. If we can't have civilized... No, but it does, it does. It, it, if we it can't does. have civilized conversation... It's not civilized. It's and, a, it's and a, there's a meaning to it. He knows what he's doing. Double team in here? I know. We're, no, we're getting some great advice here. Oh, we're going. It's Cheers, brother. Take care, buddy. Take care. Thanks for the input. Yeah. Yeah. I'll tell yeah. what's a bedroom here. Okay, Carl. Take, Take care. care. I like Carl Frosch. You got to respect a guy that has a beautiful girlfriend like he does. You know what it is? He's a double agent. He obviously wants Ward to win the fight. He's probably, he probably knows you're going to win and is thinking, maybe I've got a chance of training him. I don't think that's the one. Me and Eddie have had a lot of time together and we've, we've had a chance to bond a little bit. And it's been nice because, you know, me and Eddie are quite new, newly acquainted. I wanted a couple of push-ups, seriously. Go on, then. Do them now. Let's go to the gym. Just do a couple. No, of leave off. Sort of, Go to the gym and do a couple No, of just push-ups, honestly. Do you mind? Well, it's ridiculous. I am ridiculous. You're going to sweat. I'm not going to sweat. You stink always. You know, Carl is a great friend of mine, you know, even though we've only been working together for a few months. And we've had, we've just had such a laugh. Watching that on your camera, it looks like a porno. Because it's quite grainy, all you can see is you banging away. Do you know what I mean? And making these noises. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> you realise people are going to think you're on lunacy. <laughs> This is the biggest fight of both of our careers. There's more at stake than there's ever been. And I'm preparing as if it's my toughest fight, absolutely. We have a lot of work to do, but I believe that I can win this tournament. And that's what I'm gonna prepare to do over the next nine weeks. I've got a train and I've got to concentrate on my train. And and I'm really excited about getting on the big stage in the final. <laughs> that left hook, right hand, left hook, right hand is a good combination. If you box with your reach, you're in control because you've got the reach. He's working very hard for this fight. No. Cool. He's in great shape. He's working on technique. He's not going to sit in front of Ward and let Ward pick him off. You're going to take his jab off him by out jabbing him. We're very confident. He'll be ready for whatever comes up. Ah. Ah. I just want to see how deep it is. Ah. Well, it's deep. It needs stitches. It'll be good in a couple Unbelievable. We got on. We got an unfortunate incident. Dre just got cut and sparred, and um, it's bad. When I first got cut, it was just disbelief. I'm trying to ask myself, how did this happen? I'm okay, baby. That is okay. I got a little, little, little ouchie. You know, it's one thing if you get hit with a good shot and you say, that's the punch that did it. Or, man, you know what, man, he laid with his head and, man, it's, it's not, nothing like that. It was just a normal sparring session and I have the best headgear that a professional is supposed to have. It's good that you're here. Internally, there was no muscle or nerve damage done. Um, but it still takes uh, some time for it to heal properly. October 29th is out the window. October 29th is not going to happen. Uh, I want to be at my best when I fight. You know, I want to be 100%. That's the bottom line. Doc, thanks again. Sure thing. OK. okay. I think you can say something like, bummer, I'm, you know, I got cut and sparring. I'll know what's happening tomorrow. You know what I mean? Okay, so the time to meet our next guest. Would you please welcome Carl Frotch? Yeah. Right. We 
invited you on to talk about your upcoming fight against this American fella, Andre Ward. Now, yesterday, he called the fight off. Oh. How did you find out? I found out over Twitter, actually, the oh. social network, so it's not... We, yeah. Just, you know, I've got to now take the foot off the gas, ease off. It's happened before, I'm used to it, so I'm not going to cry in my pillow at night over it. <laughs> okay. I just uh, think about what I'm going to do to Ward and make him pay when I fight him. Yeah. Carl, do you want to see it, darling? Life's about family and about having your friends close. My mum, she's down the road, and my brother's up the street, my other brother's up the other street, so I'll probably always sort of stay local. Is that starting from the beginning? That's right, from the beginning. We used to save everything. <laughs> Carl, who was your first fight? <laughs> my son is the best super middleweight on this planet. He loves the sport. He lives, breathes, boxing. He'll just put everything he can into what he's doing and, you know, he won't take second best. Yeah. It was the next fire show. I don't know a single person that would say Carl doesn't deserve that belt. No chance, no. no. I don't think there's anybody. No. no. It's all no down one. to genetics. And he's a freak of nature and he's got all the good genes from all the generations. We're all behind him. I'm really happy that Carl's been a part of the Super Six. And from the beginning, I just said straight away, well, you're going to win that, and you're going to be the last man standing. There's just no way he's ever going to lose again. I didn't feel myself that night. I was excited about becoming a dad for the first time. I got Rachel sat there at ringside, and she was seven months pregnant. She was all stressed. She was panicking. I was panicking because I could see the fight going all wrong. I thought, what's going off here? Oh, a nice staggering right hand He's by Kessler. From round three, round four, I felt physically exhausted. And I could see Kessler tiring. And usually I'm able to step up the gears and get him out of there. But with Kessler, I couldn't do that. Whoa. When they announced he'd lost it, he says, Dad, they've took it off me, haven't they? It was terrible. It broke my heart. I never ever want to see his face like that again. It's going to be so different, aren't it? I didn't know what to say to Carl, so I didn't say anything. And I just said, don't worry, you'll get the belt back and you, you, next time you'll win. It so happened that I'm in the Super Six tournament. I've got another chance, a chance to redeem myself. I trained really, really hard for the Abraham fight. And my world title was back on the line and I wanted that belt so bad. Beating Abraham was the be all and end all. Jab on him, Carl, you bust him up, break his arm. I felt really, really fired up and that brought out the best in me. Come on, Carl, every time, every time. I was so nervous at the Abraham fight and that's why I hated that fight. The father of her son is in the ring and all she's been told for three months is if this guy hits Carl on the chin, he's going to knock him out. So she's at ringside cheering for her life. I could see Carl Frosch getting stronger, more confident, and I could see that it was not going to be a close fight at all. Frosch is maintaining the distance he wants, controlling this fight. At the time, people were thinking I'm a one-dimensional fighter. I thought I was a bit of a brawler. But in the Abraham fight, they saw the boxing side of me. That was the moment, I think, when a lot of people looked at Carl Frotch differently. It showed that Frotch was successful in a smart fight. I was crying, I was so happy, brilliant. But I always say, train hard and we're always here for you. So when you're looking at him like that, you've got the blue. Yeah. And then the green and gold snakes jumping out. Yeah. So the green and gold matches nothing, they're just on their own. Just on their own. And ev everything else matches. He's got really good That's ideas, good and, you know, he knows what looks yeah. right. Last thing he wants to be worrying about on a Friday night is with shorts. Um, they got to look great. proper good. All right. All right, nice. Thanks again, mate. Cheers. Pleasure, mate. See you, mate. Yeah, we'll see you in a see bit. Later. We'll come up and see you sparring. Yeah, come on, mate. It's good. Nottingham's not a massive place, if you know what I mean. As, as the cities go, it's not yeah. huge. I think people like the fact that you've got a world champion from 
on your own doorstep. You know, you've got a hometown hero, basically. Why? There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Uh oh. Okay. Uh oh. What? Where's he gone? There he is. Whenever Carl's here, he'll always help me. He'll change him, he'll feed him, he'll play with him, he'll take him out. That is got some. He's just a really, really good father. Mm. That little boy is Carl growing up all over again. <gasps> Clumsy, heavy-handed, and smiling all the time. I adore him. <laughs> I want some more little baby boys. <laughs> bon appetit, darling. Oh, love you, babe. But the question is, do you love me eternally? <laughs> or do you just love me till death is due part? Your mum said some nice words about me today, didn't she? That me and you are soulmates, and it's like she's known me forever. I put on a white dress, and she was like, Oh, you look lovely in white, Rachel. I thought, OK. <laughs> but yeah, one day we will. I'm not in any rush, really. You've got to do the business then, haven't you, babe? I always deliver, you know. I know, I know. Do I look concerned about the Lord? <laughs> no. Do I look at all worried about this guy? I think he's doing the worrying. If he ain't, he should be. Exactly. Give me one more kiss. Hugh Jackson invited me to talk to Oakland Raiders for my youngest son who plays. This is big for him. It's really big. Uh, I met Hugh for the first time at my church, The Well, and he really stuck out to me when he came to my fight against Arthur Abraham. Just a blessing to have you know, a guy like Hugh come and support. Yeah. I actually played strong and tailbait. I'm still skinny. I was about 165 pounds. Oh, yeah. Going into my senior year, I was getting a couple of looks to Oregon State, some of them guys, but I went back to boxing. Yeah, I like, I like the contact, man. I like the contact. You the contact. You never know. I just have to say that I'm just excited about the way you guys are playing football because you guys are laying it all on the line. You know, I listened to a, a press conference from Hugh, and I, I appreciate his approach to the game and his mindset, and that's the same mindset that me and my team have. Whenever you have somebody that's in a competitive sport and that's been a champion, you always take notes and you, you, t you listen because, um, like he said, he's not great yet, but he's working to be great, and that's what I'm working for daily. Andre got his work cut out for him. I get inspired being around other top athletes. I'm excited for them, and I'm excited for what I got coming up. Even though this is the last fight in the tournament, I feel the exact same way I, f I felt against Kessler. The exact same way. You got the young underdog, the young kid, Andre Ward, and you got Mikhail Kessler, the favorite. When that first bell rings, I'm going for a dominating performance. My first fight, I looked at it like Kessler doesn't see a way that he can lose. And that's why he came to Oakland. Oh, my, nice right by Ward. Kessler is hurt. When the first jab landed, I knew we had him. He can't do nothing with you. He can't do Wait, nothing with you. we thought was the supreme European is having the most trouble. Ward not only outboxed him, but roughed him up. Mikhail bleeding. Yeah. Daddy bleeding. No. I loved the Kessler fight. Andre did a tremendous job. It was my time to prove that I had what it takes to fight at the top level. And the new WBA Super Middleweight Champion. Hearing the scorecard and new WBA Super Middleweight Champion is something that you know every young fighter dreams of. Andre. It was, for me, one of the tournament changers to see that performance that night in Oakland. I saw Andre Ward as the favorite. My fight with Kessler will ever be etched in my mind. It was a huge upset and a lot of emotion to see the relief on my kids, my wife. It's like I was happy for myself, but I was, I was also happy for them. We didn't expect it to be an enclosed, tight, knit battle the way it was as early as it was. Terrific inside fighting by Ward. Total change in philosophy. He allowed me in there, so I stayed. A 
another stiff jab by Ward. That backs up Abraham. We were trying to knock Abraham out. And as soon as there was a clinch, we were broken up. If I was given the opportunity to fight inside, I felt like we could have stopped Arthur Abraham. So the ref saved him from getting knocked out. Whoa! He's wearing him down right now. And he submitted. Everyone we fought, they submitted. I'd rather see a man quit than get knocked out because it leaves no doubt. My mission from day one was to get all the belts respectfully. And I do feel like it's my time. Carl Frosch, you know, he's just not going to give me the WBC belt. I have to go take it. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. Come on, torque from the shoulders, torque from the shoulders, torque from the shoulders, torque from the shoulders. Just nice and light, stay light on your feet. Good, get some air. What I'm looking for is explosion. What I'm working on is power. Go! Uh, he takes everything I throw at him, doesn't even flinch. I gotta tell him to stop. And up. Nice. Good. I have to go above and beyond each and every time out. And up. You know, I never wanted to be a guy who, at the end of a fight, said I shoulda, woulda, coulda. There's huge ramifications for losses in this sport, and I try to prepare myself to the point where I won't have to experience that. That's it. Come on. And run it out. Richard Jamaica called Frog to claim that the injury was fake. He'll say anything. But at this point, you know, I totally forgot about it, but I, I don't think we'll have a problem. Paul Frotch talked about uh, targeting that cut when you guys get to the fight. We're targeting his nose. So, I mean, you know, it can't be out of the way. So We thought for sure you are going to keep his nose out of this. <laughs> it's impossible, okay. man. Come on. It seems like Frotch annoys you a bit more than some of these other guys. He, he is pretty annoying. Right? <laughs> Just a little bit. Official now. You get the shoes, it's over. You can get the outfit, you can get, you get the shoes, it's, it's, it's a done deal. Which way are we going? I'll go on the, go on the zebra crossing car. 10 to 3 in England. Oh, we're over there. Where are we? Get my bearings. Oh yeah, I know where we are now. This Empire State Building. Yeah. Oh yeah, now we're in America. Yeah, it feels a bit closer. When the foreign boxer arrives, then everyone knows the fight's on. Are we foreign? Of course we are. <laughs> Coming to New York, setting up here for a couple of weeks, you know it's fight time. Uh -oh. Looks clean anyway. Hello, Joe. Makes you realise why you're here and what you're doing. It's a totally different environment. You're away from all your friends and family and all the comforts of home. Gets you focused. Three weeks is the right time to be here before the bout, so we get him out here early and he gets used to it. Then he gets a little bit angry that he's away from home for so long, so it helps him to perform. <laughs> and again. There you go, that's the left, right, and again. It's all about just sharpening the tools now. It's the last two weeks before the fight. I'm fit and strong and on the way and ready to go. You have two competitive guys like me and Carl Fox, and we're in each other's way. That's right. Good job two fighters bringing three titles together and determining who is the best in the world. So watch, watch, as that, as that jab comes out, watch, as that jab comes out, I'm jabbing you back. I'm gonna use my range, keep him out of range, use my jab, get it in his face. I think I'll outbox him and surprise a lot of people. Carl is tough as nails. And you know, nails serve one purpose, to be hammered. Quick switch with the straight shot to the death on earth. That's what I'm talking about. There's a lot at stake. It's a chance for me now to win the tournament, which means beating Ward. 
This fight right here, for me, is career defining. Every ounce of my being is geared toward beating Carl Frotch. This is the end of the tournament. It's been a wonderful journey. It's defined my career for me. But there's only one winner, and that's me.